Hi everyone. Today's topic has three points and you're going to want to stick around because the third point is a secret as to the absolute most effective way to produce your books much faster. So let's get into it. The topic we're going to discuss today is here is a method helping self-publishers to publish faster. When you first get started with your books, our biggest concern is just publishing at all. And there are so many students that I've helped over the years where you just get stuck in one of the early phases of self-publishing and you never get past it. But that's not so much on speed, but rather just getting through the steps at all. But once you've got your very first book onto the market, and we're going to move on to our next book, we begin to understand that some of these steps take a really long time or are things we really don't want to do or you're doing everything yourself. There's so many things that lead to a great deal of frustration and that is what we're going to answer in today's video. This is Chris Baird from selfpublishingmadeeasynow.com where self-publishing doesn't have to be so hard. And I can tell you after doing 200 plus books, self-published books, on putting them onto the market onto Amazon and these other sites that I begin to find a system and a pattern. You can check out below and grab a copy of my self-publishing checklist that will show you the secrets of moving through those steps quickly, which is a little bit of what we're going to be hitting today. And if you find my videos helpful, please help me by hitting the subscribe button because that will ensure that more people are able to find these videos. And hit the bell if you would like to get notified every time I come out with a new video every three days. So let's get into it. From my own story, when I first got started, I knew absolutely nothing about publishing and just slowly tried a lot of different tricks and failed at the same time. I can tell you the speed at which I was going was so slow. Friends and family were saying, why don't you just put the book on the market already? Why are you moving so slowly with this? And it was a bit frustrating for some people, me talking about writing these books and, okay, well, I just need to make sure things are right and I have so many little parts that need to be in place and all of these things. And the speed was unbelievably slow when I was getting going. So what happened was I got into several different communities on Facebook and other locations and started to learn how to speed up my self-publishing process. At the same time, I learned some of the tips and tricks that I share on this very channel because they still work to this very day, though very few people actually are fully capable of really implementing them unless you've got a coach or somebody who's helping keeping you going. But for the most part, you really have to actually force yourself to say, okay, let me see if I can get these tips implemented. And you discover the power of them, both in terms of helping you make the process smooth and getting a book onto the market, written and onto the market, and then getting it to sell after that. And the thing is, I took several course courses. I hired a number of coaches, accountability coaches, and different coaches in different areas in order to help me hone my skill set when it came to this whole self-publishing thing, and also invested in the tools to speed up the flow of the process that I was using. And as it and the end result was I discovered that for some of the tool tasks that I didn't want to do and some of the tasks that I found that I could do things that I enjoyed more, I hired two and up to three virtual assistants full time in order to help me get my books onto the market. So as I was producing books to speed up the rate at which I could get them onto the market so that I would not be bogged down with this and I have never looked back so that I could focus my time on the skills that I enjoy doing and that also were the skills that I couldn't outsource or have anybody else do those things. And that's exactly what I found worked for me. But let's get into it. So. Here is a method helping self-publishers to publish faster. The first point is make a checklist. Now I told you, you can get my free checklist below in the, in the description here, but I also, for each of the processes I do from audiobooks to Lulu to Ingram Spark to da Draft to Digital, I have a very detailed checklist that goes through exactly who does what, when they do the different things to go through these tasks so that it's very, very clear where exactly we are in the process because I can sometimes be working on as many as five, four or five books at a time that are coming onto the market and they're in different phases and trying to keep track of all of that, you're going to need a tool that's gonna to make that possible and I would say use a checklist. And then if you're using, as I've mentioned before, Todoist, which you can check below in the description for the, my affiliate link for that, that's what I use actually to govern all of my task management systems where you can paste your checklist into that list and then mark it off. You can create projects for each of your different books that you're working on at the same time. You don't have to focus on only one thing at a time because during some portion 
versions of, for example, in your book publishing where you're getting your audiobook produced, you're ready to start writing your next book. Or maybe if you don't wish to write the books, you can order other people to, to produce the books as well. And so then they're in different phases of the whole thing and we need to follow up and see where we're at. And so a tool like Todoist makes this a lot easier and definitely speeds up how fast you can move because we're not having to remember the steps each time. Just like an airline pilot, they go through a list of check, a checklist so they make sure they don't forget the very important things that they're doing to make sure that the plane actually makes it from point A to point B safely. And we're doing the exact same thing with self-publishing. We want to use as little brain power when it comes to the issue of trying to get the book produced and onto the market as we humanly possibly can. And at the same time, this checklist method is so powerful because as we discover things that work or don't work for us, we can adjust the checklist. I have my virtual assistants inform me when some of the steps could be improved upon so that we can figure out what do we need to do next in order to get these books onto the market and selling? And there are thousands of things you can do, and so we're going to play around with a little bit and adjust the checklist as we go. Even today, I adjusted a few of my checklist points. So that was one of the key issues, our first point. The second point is we should stay in touch with a community that will help you find the tools the right tools to speed up the process, both the strategies and the tools. You're here on, on YouTube, or maybe it's a podcast or blog you're reading or watch, listening to right now, where you're hearing what I'm saying right this moment. And as a result of that, I'm giving you an idea of the tools that I use. Now, maybe these are terrible tools for you. In the description, you'll see all the tools that I use, all my affiliate links for those, the tools that I use for my self-publishing business. But for yours, you may find different tools. I love to hear about maybe there's better tools than the ones that I'm using. If you do find them, let me know. I've gone through a very many and this is the type set that I found helps speed up my self-publishing process when it comes to publishing the books and getting them out onto the market as quickly as possible with a quality level that's going to give us at least four stars okay that's sort of what, we're, what our target goal is that people are going to like and find the value that these books are bringing to the market but by staying in touch with a community like as many of you commenting on these videos and I go back and forth with you and help you out uh, that's a very powerful way of doing it or joining Facebook groups and communities there as well so you have a lot of different options and choices you can do when it comes to getting your books published quickly but a very key issue is don't spend too much time in the communities but keep producing all always be producing new books and new things but at the same time we also want to make sure that we are in touch with other people it will both help keep our motivation high and make sure we aren't wasting time when it comes to our self-publishing but let's get on to our actual our secret answer of the day this is the third point the one that I believe is the most effective and it's for people who you've got a number of books out they're selling and bringing money in and when you reach this phase it is an amazing feeling because now you have cash are you going to pull it out of your company or are you going to reinvest it in other people within the company? It is such an exciting time. And, and there's one key thing that I, almost everybody I know would say this is in fact the best strategy you should do and it is hire a team. Hire a team. Start with just one virtual assistant, usually from the Philippines or someplace like that, who can help follow they can follow through the process that we already built the checklist for and they're going to be able to take over as many tasks that they're able to do that you don't that take away things that you maybe either don't want to do these tasks or that you can do them but you just don't enjoy them as much or that we want to increase our production speed because the more products we have on the market the better for us in many ways here okay and all the same goes with marketing all these other things if we can have other people spending hours and hours doing those skill those tasks instead of us we can then focus on the very core things that are going to help our business move forward and specifically the things that are useful that they're not able to do for example making the video you're watching right now this is a video that they're not going to be doing because the brand is built around me and self-publishing trying to help as many authors in the world to get their books published easily right but in terms of this video itself uh, how is it getting on youtube well virtual assistants do it and helping with regards to the podcast and the blogs and, and other areas like that in terms of making sure that the flow is moving smoothly and the same goes with my books so we get the books produced and we have to have them formatted well the virtual assistants are able to do that and in terms of producing the different things and uploading them to the sites to make sure that the books are posted and even setting up ads against the books do you see but the thing was we started with our first tip which is 
creating that checklist and the system and then we have a good tight communication so we're able to improve things as we go and this is something that you may wish to I think it was uh, online jobs PH was the one I was using for to find my original virtual assistants and then I just use they help recommend other people who are outstanding and are able to contribute to the overall flow and the process of produ production that we're looking at right here and in your books as well so if you're doing tasks that you would rather not do or low productivity. In other words, where your time is better spent somewhere else than perhaps trying to format your books or working on covers or these other sorts of things. We can outsource these to other people who are very happy to do those, those tasks and then that frees up our time to do new tasks, creating more revenue, giving us the ability to hire more people in order to bring them onto the team and in order to start teaching them and they're also getting up to speed and then they're giving new inputs back to fix the checklist, fix the overall system, figuring out what are the priorities. And again, one of the things I also find useful, I mentioned it in the earlier one, is having a coach, which I also offer below in the description, which is somebody who's able to hold you accountable and to make sure that you're progressing through the steps. And I can't tell you, my coach is fantastic, able to help me with regards to the direction I'm moving things. Because sometimes I'll think I need to go in this direction and then the coach is able to help say, no, this is not the thing you should be focusing on. So for example, some authors think that by posting their books on other authors' things and spamming people with their books, that that will sell books. It has no impact on sales. It's much better to actually connect with the communities of readers and start building them with email lists and stuff. I had somebody asking about this recently. So these are things you're definitely gonna wanna consider. And I'm hopefully some of these tips were useful to you. But my question for you is what method have you found to speed up your production when it comes to your books? I want to know below in the comments because that will make sure that I'm hitting the right points and maybe you've even got methods and tips that I haven't thought about and I want to hear from you so you can help me in my publishing process. The key is it's community. We're helping each other to get our books onto the market and in this case how quickly we can get it. And remember not low quality but four or five star type of books that we're talking about getting onto the market. What do we need to do in order to get these books onto the market? And check up above me here for more video answers to your self-publishing questions. Thanks.